Okay, welcome back. Now that we've gone through and kind of got a good idea and a game plan on what we're going to do, pieces and parts, and uh, knowing how we're going to fit all this together, we need to know what all these sizes are so we can put our material list together. So here we have our pipe size, inch and a quarter going up and feeding the transformer, inch and a half coming in and feeding the eight high panel and an inch and a half coming down feeding the load panel. And I got this information off the one line diagram. And remember the last video I didn't have all this information in there. I wanted to concentrate just on how we're going to lay it out. So now that we have all this information we can go back to what we're doing in here. So we got to figure out all these different fittings and everything and what I've done is I've pretty much already lump summed it all together for you and we have all the inch and a half parts here we got the set screw EMT connectors the GRC coupling which is going to go up in there uh, we got a female adapter which goes down here lock rings for the IMC riser there I've got that down there the flex that we have for both sides basically the whole list of things that you got to go through and send it on your order or go pick it up yourself however you, you guys do it but this is important to set all this stuff up get it all planned out and get it all written down so that when you come back to put this together you could actually have it all done and ready to go and the next video we're going to talk about the wire sizes and how I order the wire and um, will make that a little bit easier. I mean we've got a long ways to go here but basically if you have all of this in a nutshell here ready to go you can come in and you can get all this uh, put together and uh, ready for you to pull your wire and then we can talk about landing it uh, and all the other odds and ends that go along with this installation um, you know when you order your materials if you don't already have your panels and stuff make sure that you've got those out there and how to get that transformer up there would be probably using a chain hoist if you mounted your unistrut up on top first then you can wrap the chain around that and uh, put a couple pieces of unistrut in there hoist it up put in your all threads and then you've got a hanger your transformers hung so um, the way that I would probably do this is I would probably go ahead and hang that transformer first to get it up and then build myself up from the bottom up on on both sides there of course before you put the the panel in here mount it to the wall you're most likely going to want to put that IMC riser in because otherwise it'd be a real uh, pain in the butt to try and get that in once that's anchored to the wall and talking about anchors, I've got inch and a quarter nail in anchors. I use those a lot. Uh, when you put these in, you just want to make sure that you get into the solid portions of the cells of these cinder blocks unless the whole thing is grouted. So, just another part, just another piece to the puzzle. So, I hope you guys are finding this informational. And uh, if you have any questions, please give it uh, uh, messages down below. And I'll talk at you later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.